now. So welcome, friends. Now I'm going to turn the mic over to Ms. Lewis. Oh, Ms. Lewis, you're on mute. I do that during class as well. Okay, so <laughs> my task is to remind you about progress reports. If you're used to getting them on um, paper form, you're not going to get them on paper um, at this time, but you can view them in parent portal. Um, so they were live yesterday, so you can view them as of yesterday. So if you don't have information, if you didn't get that information emailed to you, please contact um, one of us, your child's um, teacher, and we'll get that information to you. So you can, again, read progress reports in Parent Portal. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Lewis. Um, as an addition to that, if you have any questions about the content of your child's progress report, you can um, give your teacher, shoot your teacher an email um, or a text or a dojo message, um, and I'm sure they're glad to answer any questions you may have. All right, so um, we are starting this coming week. Um, on Monday, we will start our PALS assessing. So the PALS assessment is made for all kindergartners through third graders in, in the state of Virginia. And PALS tests your child's phonological awareness skills. So the items that we're going to be assessing with your child are their beginning sound matching abilities, um, how much they understand rhyme, which lowercase and uppercase letters they can identify the letter sounds they know. We're gonna do a short, very short spelling test. And then we're gonna do a sound to letter correspondence activity with them. Um, it does take us a long time to get through each of these pieces with each child. Um, we will be doing this all virtually. Um, and except for a few special cases, in which case you already know who you are. Um, only a few children will be doing it in person because of extenuating circumstances. Um, so we're going to be working on our PALS assessments through the next four weeks. Um, each of these little parts needs to be done with each child individually. Um, and because we only have three hours per session, to get these things done, it will take us that much time. And it's kind of an all hands on deck time um, for kindergarten. So we're excited to see how your child does, but just please be mindful. Um, so there are a couple things that we wanted you as families to be aware of. Um, because this is an assessment, we want to gauge what your child does and does not know yet. Um, these are all skills that we are going to work on throughout the year. So um, please do not help your child. Do not give your child hints. Um, I think most of us would actually recommend that you not be in the room with your child, um, but your scholar should be in a quiet space, preferably a room separated from everybody else in the family for that time with no distractions. So no TV, um, no additional toys, things like that. We want them to really focus for those short periods of time that we're gonna be assessing them. Um, and then your child probably um, will have, um, they either have or they will have a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker to use. Um, it really, really helps us see what they're writing when you use a dark colored whiteboard marker. Um, it's really hard for us to see what they're writing on Zoom when they simply use paper and pencil. So we are providing whiteboards and whiteboard markers um, and your child will need that with them um, for the PALS testing, um, just for a couple of the activities, but it's a nice thing for them to have anyway. So um, before I move on, team, is there anything else, anything I forgot about PALS testing? I don't think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, then we'll keep on rolling. Just a reminder that when you're, when it's not your child's turn to speak, it is really important that they stay muted. We would love to be able to interact with all of them all the time, but in this setting, any extra noise that's going on in your house is just amplified um, when their mic isn't muted. We can, um, you know, even if the TV's in the next room or whatever, we are still hearing that and it makes it di very distracting for the other kids and for your own 
child as well. So just please remember to keep that microphone muted um, unless we have asked your child to speak. It can ask a question or ask them to unmute. Thank you, Ms. Lightly. All right, and our supplies. Um, we should also remember to keep that backpack nearby. Um, we had the blue backpacks that they were able to pick up um, during um, pre-service. And then we added, they may have some extra items that they received, but they need to have pencils, crayons, notebook, their handwriting book, pink handwriting book, the whiteboard and whiteboard marker that we mentioned and some type of items for counting. Um, we use those frequently um, and it's best for them to have that close by so that they aren't having to go search for it when we ask them to get something out. Oh, can I add to that? Also, for counting objects, they can use anything that they would like. They can use Cheerios, marbles, erasers, anything around your house, just as long as they have objects to count and have them with them in their backpack. So anything easy. And kind of, we've all been practicing working with the kids on putting everything back into that backpack when they're finished with it. So that way we have it for every single day. Um, so yeah, so um, that was just a, a reminder. Um, if you run out of supplies, you may contact your child's teacher. However, we cannot guarantee that we can provide any additional supplies at this time, but please feel free to contact your child's teacher, right? So <laughs> let's see, um, does anybody have any questions about anything we've covered or anything that um, you feel like you need to know? And one more thing, Ms. Williams, about the 16th. Oh, yes. Um, we talk about it? It should be in there. Um, it wasn't in the presentation. It was not? Mm -mm. Let me okay. see if I can All go right. back. And... Um, so the next two Fridays are going to be, um, next Friday, we will not be meeting as a kindergarten team because there will be a school-wide um, meeting for um with miss killian at 10. so we didn't feel like we should have two meetings back to back and then the following friday included in our kindergarten meeting um you see the flyer here um the math team will join us for a little while we have these together tigers triumph ttt and um, we'll be having them for each grade level, but they're starting with kindergarten. And um, the math team will join us for part of that time to, to just get share some strategies of how to work with your child on the math skills that we're working on. So the next, those are the next two Fridays. That Friday will be the same 11 o'clock time, but next Friday will be at 10 and it'll be a different link because it is a school-wide um, <laughs> session. Yes. That will be shared, I'm sure, through Dojo or um, other, the, the website, other ways you can access that. And we will we'll also share that link once we have it. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Langley. I totally forgot because I didn't refresh the slideshow, sorry. Um, so does anybody have any questions or comments, concerns, profound statements? Hi, uh, yes, um, uh, Xavier Jones's father. Um, <coughs> I had uh, just one question, sorry, I, I stepped away for a minute. Uh, I heard about the uh, uh, progress reports or report cards or um, uh, about checking those. When did they come out and how do I get those? They came out yesterday and they're on Parent Portal, okay. but I can email you separately if you don't have your login information. Okay. Okay. Um, um, so do you have like, I, 
parent portal information? I, I might have it written down somewhere. I think uh, my wife, I know she probably has it most likely, uh, you know, she's doing her, uh, yeah. she's out of the uh, state. So um, um, I can I'll check. I'll email you separately or class dojo you. Okay. Okay. There are also instructions in last week's parent meeting about how to set that up, I believe. Yes, so we do have a video of how to get yourself hooked up with Parent Portal um, in our um, parent information meeting from last week, like Ms. Langley said, you can access that either on the Tyler um, YouTube channel or um, there's a good chance that Ms. Baldwin posted that link on the Class Dojo story. Um, so there's a nice video that kind of walks you through it, um, but we'll also get you all the information. You need. So. Is, is that the dojo thing? Um, what you just messaged on, that was class dojo. I did not post uh, that class dojo, but everything um, will be on my Google Classroom. Okay. So I can also just email you the link, or I'll dojo you the link for it. Uh, um, uh, email's fine. Email's okay. fine. So, uh, so I forgot that dojo thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. it's, there's a lot. Thank, there's a lot you. of things to keep straight. So it's oh, yeah, it's just, <laughs> totally it's, understandable. Yeah. Um, this is a year unlike any other. So, um, yeah. you know, we thank you for your patience and, um, you know, we'll get through it together. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, as always, if you come up with something later, um, please ask your child's teacher. Um, we all have various ways to get in contact with us. Um, so please, please, please reach out. Um, we're here to help. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and like I said, we're gonna post this on YouTube as well. So um, any of the information that we cover at any of these meetings, you can always go back and review. So um, yeah, all right, well, we're, we're here for you. Um, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day and have a great weekend. All right.